Hi, it's James. If you were a previous user of Affinity Photo, you might be wondering where the liquify tone map and develop personas have gone. The way you access these has been changed slightly for this new version of Affinity. Personas are now called studios, so this is how I'll refer to them. Specifically, I'll call them standalone studios because they are accessed for dedicated purposes only. In Affinity Photo, you would have had access to these studios on the top toolbar here. But if you go looking in the studio list, you won't find them. The first way of accessing these studios is to go to Pixel Filters, and you'll find them listed here. I can enter Liquify, quickly push some pixels around, then click Apply to leave the Liquify Studio and return to the main studio I'm working in. Selecting this layer, there is also another way of accessing the three standalone studios, and that is to switch to the Move tool and have a valid layer selected, such as a pixel or image layer. These three buttons will now appear on the Context toolbar. I can also right-click a layer with the Move tool active, and I'll see these three options on the right-click menu as well. I'll use Tone Map to enter the Tone Map Studio, and I'll reduce Tone Compression, then increase Local Contrast, clicking Apply to move back to the previous studio again. Finally, selecting the Cosmic 1 layer, I can also use a shortcut to enter Develop. Shift Command A on Mac, Shift Control A on Windows will take me to develop. And here I might alter the white balance temperature and tint, then perhaps also increase black point, and click develop to once again move back to the previous studio. So there we go, that was a quick heads up about how to access Liquify, Tone Map, and develop in the new version of Affinity. I hope you found it useful. And thank you for watching.